Good morning, good day, good afternoon. My name is Alexander Moroz and today I'm going to introduce you to the video tutorial on how to overclock and let's call it uh, overclock, PC overclocking uh, 102. In this video tutorial, by pressing the uh, delete button, I'm getting into the BIOS. Wherever you're starting your computer, uh, by pressing the delete button, uh, you can get into the BIOS. Um, it mostly works on 90% of the motherboards. And on those motherboards that the delete button doesn't work and doesn't let you go to the BIOS when you restart your computer, means that those motherboards, they're not allowed for overclocking or they're not supporting a lot of uh, main uh, key overclocking features so uh, what we're gonna do uh, today uh, I'm running Foxconn uh, Black Ops uh, X48 Intel chipset uh, motherboard for the extreme overclocking and um, I have E80 Intel Core 2 Duo E8400 uh, originally at 3 gigahertz per core set on that motherboard also I have a nice heat sink it's um, Noctua and I forgot the name I'm gonna give you the model if you need so in the comments and also for my cooling a Noctua fan so it's one of the best air cooling fan, uh, heat sink and fans built for socket 7075 also, I'm having uh, DDR3 memory, uh, OZ Reapers, uh, four gigabytes set at seven CL seven 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 twelve, with bunch of hard drives. I have two operating system, Windows XP and Windows Seven, and I have the Sapphire HD Radeon fifty seven fifty one gigabyte GDDR five one twenty eight bit memory interface video card which is nice video card for January 2010 and let's see what NVIDIA will introduce with the GT300 chips uh, with the first NVIDIA DirectX 11 graphic processor uh, units but on the January uh, 30th 2010 Radeon 5750 is the best card uh, when it comes to the performance versus dollar and I'm also going to do a video tutorial on how to overclock that card um, and pass your GPU frequency pass uh, through 870 megahertz and uh, stick around 900 megahertz. That's how I'm running right now my video card. And as you know, that video card, or if you don't know, uh, the drivers on the video card uh, released by January 2010 not allowing you to overclock your video card Radeon 5750 uh, over 870 megahertz but I'm gonna discuss that issue and I'm gonna explain to you how you can avoid that and you can overclock even higher alright let's uh, stop on that video card review and get to the how to overclock socket 7075 um, 102 video tutorial by Alexander Moroz alright my video um, on the video my audio is uh, uh, it's not going to be the best quality uh, while I'm shooting the bias but when I'm gonna go to the windows it's going to be the excellent quality because I'm gonna use the Moroz video capture uh, the program that I developed to capture the video while you're in windows or while you're playing your games so it's going to be excellent alright so I just get to the BIOS and uh, uh, blue screen as you can see and a uh, bunch of options what is BIOS stands for? BIOS it stands for uh, basic input and output devices and this is little information that in uh, little program information that you're gonna program and computer gonna react uh, your hardware going to react to those settings. So, 
Um, we have in BIOS, uh, we can set pretty much anything. We can control the CPU, memory, hard drives, uh, any other devices like a video card. Um, but on the video card, we don't have the full access like we have. We do have on the CPU and memory. So um, as you can see, you can set the time and everything else. So pretty much, it's uh, every computer, every custom motherboard and not even custom, every device, hardware, comes with the BIOS. And that's a BIOS, that's the information that device reads when it starts and react by that information. So what we're gonna, what we hear, what we're seeing here, um, every motherboard, just keep in, uh, in mind, don't get disappointed on or lost. Uh, what I'm gonna do here, I'm not I'm going to discuss particular overclocking to this motherboard and nothing else. I'm gonna to discuss generally overclocking for socket 7075 as no as well as no as socket T before. And socket 7075 is the old socket and it's so the Pentium 4 Intel CPUs, uh, core to do uh, 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 Pentium D uh, dual core, core to duo, and core to quad CPUs. And it's so the DDR1, DDR2, and DDR3 memory. It was released in different chipsets by Intel and by NVIDIA, uh, as no as N4 600 series motherboard, 500 series motherboard, and 700 series motherboards. All right, and uh, uh, by Intel it was uh, 38 X38 uh, P45 X48, and uh, I believe uh, G31 chipsets. All right, so um, we can also a lot a lot of motherboard has the PC health status, and we can go in there and check the. Uh, temperature on the CPU main board and on the North Bridge, which is a pretty uh, valuable information when you're overclocking, as well as set your fans or see the um, speed of the fans, uh, should enable or disable shutdown temperature, and some other tricks and tricks. Uh, every manufacturer has its own thing, but uh, basic information is supposed to be on CPU temperature and system temperature and noise bridge temperature. Also, it shows the voltage. Almost on any manufacturing, about uh, 10 motherboard, I saw this and different chipsets and manufacturers. Also, I start overclocking in 2000 uh, by first Voodoo. Uh, three 2000 video card and then after that was my f uh, first overclocking but that video card and then after that I overclocked the first AMD um, a a Thunderbird Athlon on a revision uh, core Thunderbird 1200 megahertz I overclocked it to 1400 megahertz at that time and then um, after that Athlon XP uh, and blah 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 and such and such and such so 10 years of overclocking experience behind my back and let me uh, let let me just let you know that during the overclocking I never burn anything and thanks God God bless me and let's keep it that way and uh, even if I'm overclocking it extremely sometimes only what I burned I burned the motherboard noise breaches and then um, Gigabyte um, Unforced 3 motherboard uh, designed for the first uh, AMD uh, Athlon 64 bits processors, and uh, I burned also Asus Unforced 2 uh, for the socket A for, for the AMD XP Athlon XP processors, uh, as well. And both I burned the North Bridges. And I knew I'm gonna burn it. I, I pushed it so hard, like very hard, and they were very hot, like you can even touch it. And when situation comes to this, I suggest you to stop overclocking. When you touch the uh, 
heat sinks on North Bridge or on the CPU and it's getting too hot, that it's ridiculously hot, you better stop overclocking and push it a little bit lower. Notch down. Alright. So <clears throat> everybody is gonna have its own uh, things, but you're gonna find it where you can overclock 